Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. Today, AMD is launching a new graphics card, the Radeon R9 285. And as you might guess or assume, it falls somewhere between the R9 280 and the R9 290. Uh, but where exactly, it's, it's kind of an interesting discussion. So we have here a card from Sapphire. This is actually the one that AMD sent us. Um, it is basically looks like your normal kind of R9 280 HD 7970 graphics card. It is a new GPU though, and that's kind of the important part about this. This is no longer based on Tahiti. We are now based on a new GPU called Tonga. And Tonga shares a lot uh, with Tahiti. Uh, and it essentially takes the cost and die size of a Tahiti GPU and combines with it the performance and additional features of a 290 and 290X, right? So we're talking about uh, features like true audio support or uh, updated XDMA crossfire support. Um, there's no crossfire bridge on this graphics card, for example. You also have support for FreeSync, uh, which you do not have on the 280 and 280X. But uh, long story short, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. The, the GPU itself, specifications-wise, 1,792 stream processors, uh, which might remind you of uh, the Radeon 7950 or the Radeon R9 280. So this is essentially replacing that. It's $249 price tag. Uh, if we compare it directly to the 280, this actually runs at a slightly lower clock speed. Reference, 918 megahertz instead of 933. It actually has a 256-bit memory bus instead of a 384-bit memory bus, and it actually goes from a 3 gig to a 2 gig frame buffer. So those are actually a couple of specification drops that may have you worried, but I can assure you the performance of this and the performance of the 280 are very, very close. It loses in a couple of tests and wins in a couple of tests, uh, but that's not really kind of the, the reason for this release. It's not to kind of create a new performance placement. Uh, the memory does run a little bit faster on this, 5.5 gigahertz instead of 5 gigahertz. Um, the, the new GPU has a slightly lower TDP. We're looking at 190 watts instead of 200. And again, uh, we are actually increasing our uh, uh, transistor count while maintaining the same die size. Still same 28 nanometer TSMC technology. It's kind of an interesting product in that. It doesn't change very much, but it's adding to uh, the feature set of the R9 280. Performance-wise, I think two gigs of frame buffer is fine. Uh, this runs 1080p games and 25 by 14 very easily. Uh, you can check out the review at PCPro.com for all the benchmarks, but you know, Battlefield 4, uh, Crisis 3 struggles a little bit 1080p, but Metro Last Light and Skyrim and Grid 2 and Bioshock Infinite, those are all very, very playable at 1080p and up to 25 by 14. I think the most important features of this are uh, the XDMA, the true audio, and something like FreeSync, right? So AMD's problem with FreeSync is that the only cards that currently support it are the 290, 290X, and 260X. Well, that's far from the majority of graphics cards uh, you know, that AMD has out on the market. And so you will likely see stuff like the 285. I still believe you'll see a 285X, hopefully you know, updates of the 270 and 270X as well to support FreeSync before those uh, monitors actually maybe start shipping by the end of the year or CES timeframe. Uh, $249, the direct competition to that is from the comp from NVIDIA is the GeForce GTX 760, which you can get for about $239 if you look around. The R9 285 is definitely a faster GPU. If you look at the 1080p and 25 by 14 benchmarks, that card is, is, is definitely faster um, than the 760. So we'll see if NVIDIA has any refreshes for us or price drops coming up in the not too distant future. Uh, but You'll see the 280 slowly dwindle away from stock. What's out there will be you know, sold and discounted. So if you're looking for a second R9 280 or you don't care about support for XDMA, True Audio, or FreeSync, you could probably pick up an R9 280 for relatively cheap for the next few weeks. Uh, this will be its replacement. And I think it offers quite a bit uh, new and updated technologies, even if it doesn't update performance. Make sure you check out the full review at PCPro.com. We have all the benchmarks, power consumption numbers, everything you would want for that, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.